Live from KSAT 12, the night beat starts right now. It has given 800,000 people the ability to get a license, go to school and get jobs. 12 years ago today, the Obama administration rolled out the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival Program, also known as DACA. It's meant to help those who are brought here to the U.S. illegally as children. Recipients say they've seen wins, including expanded access to health care. The night team's Daniela Ibarra explains why some still worry about the program's future. Andrea Rathbone Ramos and her husband are high school sweethearts who graduated from Churchill. He supported her as she earned degrees from UTSA and most recently, NYU. Andrea says he's the first person outside of family who she talked with about her legal status. I feel like every day it's a blessing. Her family brought her to the U.S. when she was nine years old. In 2012, she and thousands of others brought to the U.S. as kids became dreamers. They're covered by the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival Program, known as DACA. It was a breath of fresh air when DACA was announced. Immigration attorney Gerardo Menchaca represents several DACA recipients. He's seen the challenges. Last year, Texas and eight other states sued to stop DACA, calling the program unlawful. While President Joe Biden says he won't stop fighting for dreamers, former President Donald Trump promises to deport migrants if reelected. Is DACA in jeopardy or is it safe? Oh, DACA is always going to be in jeopardy. My clients are worried about the fact that it is a temporary program, that they can't count on having the DACA program in five years. Immigration policy has been broken for a very, very, very long time. Andrea hopes for a permanent fix. Even though she's now married to a U.S. citizen, Andrea says her pathway to citizenship is not guaranteed. Daniela Ibarra, KSAT 12 News.